So viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you a clinical test which is called Galeazzi test. It is also known as Alice sign. It is a good test and a good screening tool for limb length discrepancy due to tibia and femur. This was devised by Riccardo Galeazzi who was an orthopedic surgeon in Milan and he devised this test after his extensive work in DDH. Now the state test has been now extrapolated to adults and as I said it's a good screening tool. I am going to demonstrate you how to do this test. So to do this test first the patient has to be supine and then is to put him in the right position. So the position is bend the uh, hip, the hip should be around 45 degrees of flexion and knee should be roughly around 90 degrees of flexion. So make sure hip is 45 degree of flexion and knee is around 90 degree of flexion. Then the third important thing is to make sure that the heel is at the same level. So I am going to slide my finger and make sure that the heel is at the same level. So this is the position in which we are going to do this test. We are doing this test initially in your initial phases you can get confused but I will make this simple for you. So the next step will be put your hand on the distal aspect of the femur. When you are putting your hand on femur at this point of time you are assessing the tibia. So any discrepancy in leg length due to tibia you will assess now when your hand is on femur. So if you see any gap that will suggest that that side of the limb is short. As this patient is normal I don't see any gap which suggests that there is no shortening due to tibia. So the second aspect of the test is to put your hand in front of the tibia. When you are putting your hand in front of the tibia at this point of time you are assessing the femur. So any discrepancy due to femoral leg length will manifest now. So again if there is any shortening then you will start seeing the gap which will suggest that there is shortening due to femur. Now again just to make it simple when your hand is on tibia you are assessing femur, when your hand is on femur you are assessing tibia. Now I am going to demonstrate the same test in a patient who has got abnormalities and has got positive findings. So now I will demonstrate the same test in a patient in which there is some positive findings. So again 45 degree and knee at 90 degree, hand behind the heel to make sure that both the heels are at the same level. When I am putting my hand in front of the femur, I don't see any gap. That means there is no leg length discrepancy due to tibia. So the tibia are of the same length. However, when I put my hand in front of the femur, you see there is this much gap. And this is the gap that will signify that amount of shortening that is present in this particular patient due to shortening of the femur. Then you have special tests like Brian test to see whether it is supratrochanteric or infratrochanteric shortening. So again to just summarize if you are putting hand on femur you are looking for shortening of the tibia. If you are putting hand on tibia you are looking for shortening of the femur. On this occasion it's roughly I can see there is shortening of around 6 to 6 centimeters. So viewers, this was a quick demonstration of Galeazzi test. It's an extremely useful test to identify a leg length, leg length discrepancy. It's a good screening test. I hope this video made you understand the test. Do subscribe to our channel and do share uh, our video.